come back here, obviously you have a relationship with Troy, a lot of the players. Yeah. Um, is it just, I know obviously business is involved in all yeah. that, but kind of continuation of what, what's been growing here, was that most important for you too? It is, and I just, you know, like where the organization is headed. You know, I like my role on this team, being a veteran leader, and and I just I love the guys, man. It's, it wasn't, it just, it just felt right. It, it really did. Rob, you were on that, your first year in the league, I think, you were on that Miami team that started up 10-31 and then finished 500. What, what about that season do you carry with you? And has it, has it helped you when you talk to your young teammates to kind of get through the, the last few seasons when things aren't going well? You know, it's crazy. You know, someone that really, Sadiq admires that story so much. So he asks me, you know, questions quite often about, you know, about that season. But I think one thing I've, you know, taken uh, through my past six seasons in the NBA is just, you just have to keep going. You know what I mean? Like, no one thought that we could fight back and go 30 and 11 to finish that year off with the Heat. But it was something that we did because we believed and, you know, we just kept fighting and just kept coming out play and we stayed tight as a group. So that's one thing I, you know, I just, Voice to to uh, to our group is just we have we just have to stay together. Anything is possible if you stay together and just continue to compete and compete and fight. And and you seen it the way we finished the season off, just the way we we were in every game. You know, we it was a couple possessions that kind of ruined games for us, but we were in every game. Every game was like a dog fight. Rodney, this is a young team. Obviously, I think ten guys under twenty four, but yeah. guys have grown up a lot too. Have you seen the difference maybe in mindset and maturity? For sure, man. Just the the way we've been playing, and you know the plays the guys have been making, making the extra passes and stuff like that. It's just things that you really didn't see the first couple of seasons, and guys just have making making tremendous leaps in in their games and their in their individual workouts and stuff like that. So you, you see it in the carryover from the things that they've been working on over the summer. So I just think just just playing so many games, like sometimes the age really isn't a factor when you play a lot of basketball because basketball is still basketball at the end of the day. It's just being played the right way. You know, you see some guys on, on veteran teams that are young and it's just that they had those veteran guys help them make the right plays and stuff like that. So I think it, mainly it's just playing the game. You know, when you play the game as often as in as many games as some of these young guys have, have played, speaking of the guys, as retur the returning guys, they've seen a lot of basketball. So I think, you know, with the work that they put in over the summer, uh, they're going to be ready for sure. What have you seen from K? Lots of talk about the extra muscle he's put on. Yeah. I mean, watching the end of the season last season, K K made a lot of things look pretty easy. You know what I mean? So like, but that's just a testament to you know the, the frame and you know his his nutrition and you know it be, being in the weight room and the things that he's you know added onto his body and into his regimens to prepare himself for the season. But he's look he's look he's looked great in his preseason and workouts and us just playing. He's looked great. And I'm I'm excited for him. I really am. That's it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.